All right, folks, I just want to do a little video here to show some people out there uh, this air filtration system that I uh, put together. I put it together um, about a month ago. Um, it's just uh, three quarter inch copper tubing. It's about uh, 40 feet. Okay, so, so a little background is I uh, bought this Quincy compressor about eight years ago, and it's a very good tool to have. And um, I had bought this Devilbus water trap here, and I had it set up about about three feet away from the uh, compressor. And I've been painting, uh, priming, painting, clearing, epoxying, running air tools, all kind of stuff with just that water trap, and uh, got pretty good results. But lately, I've been noticing that uh, when I would disconnect the hose from the uh, from the gun, it would spurt out some mist uh, moisture. And I noticed on uh, the last few jobs that I've done or small projects that I've painted, I uh, had a, a couple of little pinholes. And from my research, those little pinholes are from moisture. So um, just trying to eliminate that. So what I did, I did some research and I built this copper setup, three quarter inch p uh, copper. And I ordered this, I believe it's called Max Air. I got it off a of USA Weld. Um, I actually got the tip from a guy, uh, he's on YouTube and Instagram, uh, Still Standing Garage. And he gave me some good advice on this piece right here. And actually it's pretty good, pretty good bang for your buck considering what the other uh, systems cost. I think this one was 360 uh, free shipping. It's a five stage uh, desiccant system. So what it is is just a half inch hose. Well, we've got the ball valve first. Got half inch uh, rubber hose to three quarter inch copper that I soldered. Um, that was my first time soldering anything. And I mean, for, first go around, I ain't never soldered anything. I mean, other than electrical connections, but I never soldered copper. So I did some research on YouTube and um, we actually got it done and it doesn't leak. Um, I, I thought for sure it was gonna leak. I was thinking that it was a sure bet that this thing was going to have 20, at least 20 leaks and uh, was kind of discouraging, but man, it's been holding uh, 100 PSI for six weeks now and it doesn't leak a drop. So what it is, is just three quarter inch copper, runs up and down, um, down to three half inch ball valves to release the moisture. And then it tees off here. Um, and I got the old Devilbis um, just for air tools just a regular rubber hose and then it continues on up here and it comes down I mean kind of loop-de-loop -loop, but it comes down to my desiccant dryer system and uh, and then it leak, uh, loops around that's a flexzilla 3 8 hose with some uh, high flow air fittings and then it goes into my other room there through the wall and uh, and that's where I do my painting um, so I haven't had the opportunity to paint anything yet but I've been messing around with it and it seems to be clean, dry air. Hopefully we get some better results. Um, I mean, the results I've been getting were, you know, more than presentable, but I really want to um, get a little, you know, go for perfection. Um, but anybody considering doing a copper setup, it was, it was really easy. I mean, you just had to figure out the fittings you need. Um, they sell everything at Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, basically they sell everything you need. I had to buy a torch buy the solder, um, buy the flux stuff, um, and we put it together. I mean, I think between the copper and the torch it was like $250, like 50 or 60 of that was for the torch. And then my system, like I say, was about 360. So I meant it for, you know, five or $600 and, um, should get some results uh, some good results. Hopefully, like I say, I mean, the Devilbus water trap worked good for years. But I uh, just wanted to see if I can get some, some better results. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. The Quincy compressor has been a blessing. It's Man, it's bulletproof. I haven't had any issues. And the Max Air system is seems to be pretty good bang for your buck considering the other stuff that's out there. I mean, some of these dryer systems run five, six, seven hundred dollars $700. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit here. And uh, thanks for watching.